apart from using the black school model for valuing options there is an other approach that can also be used in place of the black school model and that approach is termed as the two state or the binomial model this approach is an alternative to the black school model and is also considered as a superior a superior approach to the black school model to see the working of two state or the binomial model let's see an example we have an example of two uh, two day period where we have an organization uh, that is a uh, heating oil this is the firm that trades in heating oil uh, it buys at a wholesale rate and sells at the retailing rate to the customers its large revenue comes from the winter sales on september 1 we assume that the sale price per gallon is 2 dollars and it is assumed that the oil prices vary from september 1 to the december 1 the owner of this firm believes that the oil prices will either be 2.74 or 1.6 dollar per gallon on december 1st we see that there is a wide price range that creates an uncertainty at the greater level for the firm but this greater uncertainty is not much risky for the owner because as the price changes it will be duly passed on the uh, customers who buy oil from uh, heating oil in the sense that the changing uh, the the owner will ch be charging more if he ends up in buying at 2.74 gallon then ends up buying at 1.846 dollars per gallon he can do so easily because individual customers have no negotiation power but let consider the case of a larger buyer who has the nego uh, large negotiation power offering buying on december 1 uh, 6 million gallons of oil at a price of 2.10 dollars per gallon now the implication of this deal is that at 2.74 dollars per gallon there there will be a loss for the seller as he needs to buy at 2.74 whereas he will be selling at 2.10 dollars per gallon but at 1.46 dollars per gallon the buyer will not buy at the a uh, promised rate of 2.10 dollars per gallon because he will be willing to buy at the open market rate of 1.46 dollars in the open market so the buyer uh, is, uh, now wants a call option on oil he in fact agrees to compensate the seller for the loss uh, by paying rupees 1 million as an upfront money for the right of the call to buy 6 million gallons at a rate of 2.10 dollars per gallon now the question is that is it a fair deal for any of the side the answer is that it can be evaluated quantitatively by using the binomial model assuming the risk neutral pricing approach we see that change in oil price from september 1 to december 1 give two scenarios at 2.74 it will give a gain of 37% up straight rise and at a price of 1.46 dollars per given it give it will give a a, a down straight loss of a, a 27% negative return this means we can now consider the 27% and negative 37% as the possible returns on these two trades and these can be denoted as a uh, mu which is equal to 1.37 and d which is equal to 2.73 so we can value this contract in two steps at first we need to determine the 
risk neutral probabilities and then with these risk neutral probabilities we can determine the value of the whole contract let let's see first determine the well risk neutral probabilities uh, we while taking the required return on the oil uh, being equal to the riskless rate of interest we assume that at 8% is the risk uh, rate of interest which implies the 2% return over the uh, next 3 months period this means that if we develop an equation to determine the probability of rise the, with the help of this equation we can determine the probability of a rise equal to 47 percent which other means that the probability of fall is equal to 55 percent so at the probability of rise of 45 percent 45 percent there is the expected return on this oil is equal to 2 percent so these probabilities are consistent with the risk neutrality assumption because uh, the risk uh, required rate of return on any asset is assumed to be equal with the riskless rate of interest and it is so because no investor can demand for uh, a required rate of return in excess of the riskless rate of return and that is the reason that the risk neutral individual will not need to be compensated for the loss he bears now let compute the value of the contract we see that on December 1st what will be the gain or loss on the trade of the oil and if the sale, if the sale price is 2.10 gallon then the uh, seller will be bearing a loss of 0 0.64 dollars per gallon and if the sale price is 1.46 dollar the buyer will go out of the uh, game he will not buy the uh, he will not buy the uh, oil at this price uh, at the price of 2.10 which he has promised because in the open market he will be willing to buy oil at the market price of 1.46 dollars so the seller will only be receiving uh, 1 million dollar being the upfront money now using these probabilities we can determine the value of the contract which is equal to minus uh, 690 four thousand dollars and that is the negative value of this contract which is termed as a negative npv of the contract and due to this the seller will reject to sell the oil uh, the seller in fact has sold the call option to the buyer and the overall value of this contract is equal to negative 1.69 million this is negative for the seller and in contrary for the buyer the figure is positive uh, if we see that the negative number is because this equation is due, uh, for the sellers and for the buyer the equation is positive which is uh, plus 1.694 million dollars and the, if we determine the per gallon value of the call this is equal to 0.282 so this is the value that is in fact we have computed using the risk neutral pricings and that is the value of the call options which is 0 0.282 dollars per gallon